Hey guys, so today I have my eyes and lips favorites for 2014. So my standouts, favorites of the entire year. Um, it's really not a ton because these kind of things I don't really switch up all the time, but they are still things I absolutely love. So first of all, I always, always prime my eyes because I have super oily lids and if I don't, my eyeshadow will be gone in about two hours. So first I use um, the Prestige Primed and Ready Eye Primer. This is a really great drugstore one, super affordable. Um, one that's even more fantastic for oily skin is a NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Primer. Um, but it is of course a lot more pricey. But this one I find with the combo of using that and then my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer to prime my eyes as well. Um, it works really great and I don't even really miss the NARS primer. So that is a really great combo. And after that I set it with powder and it just helps my shadow last all day long. And then for eyeliner, of course, my Physician Formula um, Lash Boosting Liquid Liner in Deep Brown. This is my absolute holy grail eyeliner and it's obviously affordable because at the drugstore, although a little more pricey for drugstore, I'll admit that, but um, it's just a fantastic liquid liner. This lasts a long time because it has a little um, kind of like, it's like bristles in the shape of a pen rather than a felt tip, which felt tips I've used before and they can dry out a lot faster, I think, and get kind of rough once they get towards the end. But this one, I just I just store it um, upside down and it lasts forever. So I do need to get another one soon, but that is just an amazing liquid liner. Oh, something I should have talked about before. After I prime my eyes and then set them with powder, I use a little bit of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Um, again, this will last you forever, um, but it really helps to give some shadow something to stick to and also brighten a little bit. So I use this literally almost every single day and I've only gone through like maybe one. It's just fantastic. I love it. And it's only like $4.99 at Ulta. And then mascara. I'm not using this one right now because I had a little pink eye scare last month. So I had to throw this away, but I've just been using a sample of the um, Lancome, um, well, uh, labels rubbed off, but Lancome Hypnose Drama. But for a lot of this year, I did really love this mascara. It's a fantastic mascara. It really helps lengthen, um, and I love it. So I really need to get another one, because this one I had like just opened when that happened last month and um yeah but it's amazing what did i say about mascara can't really say much but it's awesome and then for brows um the it cosmetics universal brow power universal brow pencil um it's just quick and easy i love this um i've tried like you know the gels and stuff for brows but most days I grab this because it's so quick and easy, like I said, and usually by the time I get to my brows last, I'm like, oh, I need to hurry. So, um, but this is just nice and quick and you don't have to mess with like a brush and everything. It has a little spoolie to brush the hairs after and this is just the travel size, which was like $12. And I do have a backup in the full size. So I really love this. Um, I think the color works well for me. And yeah, fantastic brow pencil. <clears throat> and then for eyeshadows, um, my definite standouts for the year were my Makeup Geek shadows first. Um, I love them. These are like $5.99 a pan at MakeupGeek.com and I just loved these a lot, especially in the summer when I first got them. Um, I have Shimma Shimma, Vanilla Bean, Mango Tango, Burlesque, 
um, frappe, cocoa bear, peach smoothie, oh come on, creme brulee, cupcake. Yeah, I did it. Right? Yeah. That's creme brulee? Yeah. Okay. These are just fantastic. Love them. Marlena did a fantastic job with her line of shadows. They're just amazing. And then my Naked 3, which I cannot stop using lately. Absolutely love it. Um, I pretty much always use Strange on the lid and then um, Limit Transition, Nooner in the Crease. Um, and then sometimes, um, what is that? Burnout, a little bit of burnout on the lid. Um, <clears throat> and sometimes a little bit of burnout on the lid and then liar and factory under the lower lash line. So absolutely love that and definitely stand out this year. Then for lips, um, before I apply lipstick, I like to use a little bit of lip balm and one that I love is the Nivea Lip Butter and Raspberry Rose Kiss. Um, it just works really great for moisturizing and smoothing before you put on lipstick. And then for lipstick, I have some drugstore lipsticks, but the ones I just always reach for are my MAC ones, just because I absolutely love that just vanilla scent and just everything about them. Um, a lot of drugstore lipsticks I can't do just because the scent bothers me so much and it'll taste like chemically and everything. But one that I always love, um, this is my second one and I'll need it my third soon, MAC Cream Cup. Absolutely love it. It's just perfect light pink. So, love, love, love. And then syrup is great, especially in the fall. You know, one of the soon too, but it's a really great one for almost all skin tones. And this one is a luster that goes on a little bit more sheer than the cream sheen, but it's just awesome. For lip gloss, some I loved earlier in the year were the Buxom lip gloss in Pink Lady, which Buxom lip glosses are great, but and they're a little bit sticky, but that helps it kind of last better throughout the day. However, the cooling effect because of that, I only like to use it like in the spring and summer. In the winter, I just can't deal with it because I'm cold enough already. And then if I go outside and it's like five degrees out, I just feel like my lips are about to freeze off. <laughs> so I only use this like in the spring and summer, but it's a really great lip gloss. And then what I also loved was a MAC cream sheen glass. Um, I got this in Japanese spring at my CCO and I did love it a lot. Just really pretty, nice and smooth. This one's a little bit less sticky than their, than Mac's other regular lip glasses, and I did really love that. Which I tried to find my Mac lip gloss in Snob. Did I use that up? Maybe I did. Maybe that's why I couldn't find it. But um, might be my Mac back to Mac bio. I don't know. But that was the only lip gloss I ever had. But I did really love it, and those are again more sticky but they do last really well and they have that nice vanilla scent like all MAC products do and I just really loved it. And then butter glosses, of course, like I talked a lot about a lot in the summer. Um, again, I tried to find meringue and I couldn't find it, but two other ones I loved were creme brulee. This is my second one. It's a really great nude, um, great by itself or over lipstick. And then Eclair. Um, I love NYX butter glosses. They again have that kind of vanilla scent um, like MAC lipsticks do, only a little bit stronger. And that's really the only kind of scent, either vanilla or minty. The only scents that I can really deal with in lip products. But I absolutely love those and those are super affordable at the drugstore. So that is it for my eyes and lips favorites. Again, not a ton of stuff, but they were my standouts for the year of 2014. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.